So we had Christmas and we exchanged gifts and everything. It was really nice. And, well, my son got a puzzle from his grandmother. A 1000 piece beautiful puzzle with Santa on it. It was cute, you know, it was nice. Now, I've always loved puzzles. So a couple of days later, I invite him to do that puzzle together. That's one of the great things of having kids, you know. You end up doing things you haven't done in decades and discover you actually still love doing them. Anyway, long story short, he got bored quickly and I ended up doing most of the puzzle by myself. But it triggered something in me. I was relaxed yet focused. It was a very pleasant feeling. So just to make sure, I started making more puzzles and each time I had the same experience of peace, joy and, and this hyper focus. I had to get to the bottom of this. Okay, so what does brain science say about puzzles? Well, it doesn't look good. First, we've known forever that whatever skill you're practicing, you become better at. It's the first rule of neuroplasticity. That's the reason why brain games don't work. They give you the illusion of improvement, but you only become better at whatever game you're playing. It doesn't have transferability of skills. So if you do a lot of Sudokus, you'll become better at Sudokus, but not at crosswords. And if you do a lot of crosswords, you'll get better at crosswords and not at Sudoku. I love playing Sudokus myself, it's not about that. I don't love Sudokus because it improves my brain. It doesn't, I just enjoy it. But when I do puzzles, something different is going on. So I started looking into studies on puzzles and guess what? Turns out there has been surprisingly little qualitative research on the impact of making puzzles on the brain. I did find a couple of them though. So let me explain what we know so far. There was this study in 2018 showing that the cognitive demands of jigsaw puzzling could contribute to an increased brain reserve. Well, a brain reserve, that's a good thing <laughs> because that's what helps you stay mentally sharp when illnesses like dementia kick in. But the study didn't explain why. Now, other studies showed how solving puzzles helped with regulating our emotions. It really helps to keep your stress down. It's a way control the chaos. And if you do it regularly enough, it could even lower chronic stress and avoid stress-related cognitive decline. You have to know that stress is by far the number one enemy of our brain. So anything that helps keeping that under control is pure gold. Well, this is how it works. So when you start a puzzle, it's basically a problem-solving activity, right? You need to put all the pieces together in a certain order to get a coherent picture at the end. So we need to go out and look for a key feature between hundreds of small pieces of colors and sizes. There's a lot of distraction there, a lot of data that doesn't make sense yet. So we need to cancel the noise and turn on our selective attention processing, which is located in our frontal lobes. The same frontal lobes that, when active, make us feel feel calm, relaxed, at peace. So isn't that wonderful? A simple puzzle can activate the most advanced parts of our brain and help us fight the biggest threat of our mental health. No wonder I feel so good making puzzles. Now add the fact that with every piece we find, we release a little bit of dopamine in our brain. And dopamine is involved in reward and anticipation and is also released when we eat chocolates or uh, do drugs or have sex. Well, a puzzle of a thousand pieces will basically give you a thousand mini shots of dopamine. Think about that one for a minute. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Now here it gets really interesting because depending on your skills and the difficulty of the puzzle, all the elements are there to trigger the flow state. Actually, puzzles have been used to study flow in participants. It's well known and well documented. Making puzzles can put you in an altered state of consciousness, which is also called transient hypofrontality. It's a big word, but the most important and interesting element of it is that you basically stop ruminating, you stop overthinking. You're just totally absorbed by the activity at hand and that's why it feels so good. It basically gives us the opportunity to turn off the switch and just be in the moment. And it doesn't stop here because when we are trying to identify a key feature in a pattern, it can be a line, a color, sometimes the shape and sizes of the pieces will be helpful as well. Well, identifying a key feature in a pattern, in other words, pattern recognition. Now, if you know me, if you have followed me for some time, you probably know by now that to me, the holy grail of brain performance is not memory or focus, no. It's pattern recognition. 
because it's pattern recognition which helps us solve complex problems and create innovations and look at things from a new angle, reaching breathtaking aha erlebnissen or eureka moments if you prefer. Combine that with the flow thing and it all makes perfect sense. Again, puzzles through all their apparent simplicity are helping us doing just that, develop our pattern recognition. Well, there is one big question that remains though. Is there transferability of skills? If we're good at spotting patterns and puzzles, will that help us improve our general pattern recognition abilities? The sad truth is, we don't know. Sure, you'll find websites selling puzzles, telling you all the cognitive benefits of doing them, including pattern recognition. I tend to check the scientific data before making a claim and no, I haven't found a single study on the matter. Well, it doesn't mean that puzzles don't help with developing pattern recognition. Maybe they do, but maybe they don't. I know it's frustrating, but at the same time, that's also the beauty of studying the brain, you know? There's so much we still don't know yet. These are exciting times. There's so much left to uncover. But when it comes to puzzles, if you only look at the stress relief part, it's already more than worth it. If there are any additional benefits, those would only be the icing on the cake. So what about you? Do you like puzzles? Share in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want the real stuff, you go to brainacademy.com. You join our 400,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen your